Today we're going to learn how to make an origami candy box, or whatever you want to use it for. We're going to learn how to make an origami candy box to hold sweets or other items. It's simple to make this following, it's simple to make this, following our step-by-step -step instructions. Items don't fall out very easily at all. It makes a great little box for keeping jewelry or little small items in it. It's an easy to intermediate one to do. You need a square sheet of paper. So to do that, you're going to fold this corner ways like that to get this. And you're going to take all this area. And if you're a child, get an adult or a grown-up to help you. And you want to Take scissors and you're going to cut all along there and get rid of this part. And you'll end up with a square sheet of paper. So to do this, you're going to want to fold it diagonally. Fold it diagonally. Just like that. Then you're going to want to fold the right point here over to the left, nice and even. There we go. So now we have this. So we're going to bring that flap that we just made over and we're going to open it up. Kind of like that. And then we're going to flatten it, aligning it with the top. Then you're going to flip the whole paper over and you're going to repeat the same steps. So open it. And then you're going to want to open it. Let's try this again. You're going to want to flatten it in the center. Just like this. Now, you've got this shape. Now, you're going to take this, and you're going to fold it back, and you're going to align it with all the other points and flatten. Right? You're going to flip the right section over to the left and you're going to repeat it. Line it all up and then flatten it out. Then you're going to flip the paper over and repeat the last step. So you're going to do this, line it up, flatten it out. Then you're going to flip it over to the right, from the right to the left, line it up, and flatten it out. Just like that.
So let me go back here for a second. I think I might have done something wrong. We're going to unfold all those. Okay. Okay, so we need to fold one down. Sorry, guys. We'll fold the top point down to the bottom. And repeat it on the back. Flip the right section over to the left. Flip the paper over. Repeat that last step. So yeah, I was right. Okay, so basically you want to have two folded and two not. So flip it open to the two that are not. And you're going to want to do it like this and repeat it. Flip the paper over and repeat those steps. So, straighten it out. It's not very straight. Repeat those steps. So, fold that and fold this. <clears throat> now, you want to take and fold the top down to the bottom point. And unfold it. The next. Flip the left and right sides of the model again so that you have bunny rabbit shape. So flip them over like this once again. So now you got it like this. Fold the layer from the bottom upwards. So you just take the top layer, you fold it upwards, so just up to that point there as far as it would go nice and even, and then you fold the top of the flap, you just fold it back down to meet its lower edge. So you want it fold down, so you got it like that, just like that.
Now open the lower section and insert the flaps you've been making underneath, hiding them completely. Open, open the lower section and then fold it underneath so it's hidden. Fold the bottom section up. And unfold it. Flip the sides of the model again, the left and right sides, so you got it open again. Fold the top point. So fold the top point down and then upwards you'll have a tiny overlap. So down and then upwards. Make it even with that. It's so then you got this just like that. And you got a tiny overlap here. Then Fold that point down for last time. Then fold the pleated flap underneath and inside the pocket, hiding it completely. So do this and fold it underneath, just like that. Repeat the process on the other side and then start to open the box. So fold it down, then fold it back up evenly, then fold this down, and then take and fold this right back over, just like that, and then start to open it. box doesn't look that nice yet, but it will. So start opening. Oh, be careful though. You don't want to un undo it all. Oh, I think I forgot one step, guys. Hold on. We we're supposed to do this to the other side too. So fold this up and fold this back down. Then you want to flip it around and fold it underneath just to hide it. Sorry, then open it back up to where we were. So we're going to open the box up. Just carefully. Don't pull on it. Doesn't that look that pretty yet or anything, but here's a little preview of it. That's the underside of it. So, just straighten out all the edges a bit. There we go. We got our completed box. Let's stick some things in there. Stick a few things in there. Or stick whatever you like in it. There you go. 
You got a little box to hold you all your things. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And sorry about the confusion during the middle of the video. The instructions I were reading, they weren't quite right. I'm going to write to them and see if they can fix it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.